What's happening guys? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my personal strategy that's going to help you read easily 100 books per year. And you can use the tactics I talk about in this video to read 150, 200, 300, or whatever the hell you want, however you want to scale it. And I'm also going to go into um, ways that you can better remember the things that you read. So better internalize the messages of the book so that you actually have the knowledge as something tangible that you can use in your real life. And so just random names of books that you've read but forgotten because what's the point of reading you're trying to learn new things so that you can improve your life and if you're reading 100 books per freaking year trust me your life is going to be incredibly different after every year so um before i begin i just want to say that everybody can do this this isn't something that's just restricted to a certain particular class of person because i myself used to read something like one book or two books a year only the books are prescribed to me in high school by my teacher and over the years I've increased this number I started reading on my own now I read 20 books one year then the next year 40 books and I found better strategies to read more books and be able to do a lot more than what I started off with so everybody can improve although 100 might not be your goal you can definitely read a lot more than what you can and the tools we're going to be talking about here the tools we're going to use in order to actually uh, fulfill this challenge is we're going to utilize physical books right physical books and we're also going to use Audiobooks. And a quick note on the audiobooks before I get into all this. A lot of people are like, oh, audiobooks is not reading. Um, that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life because what's the point of reading? You're reading to gain knowledge. You're not reading so that you said you read the text with your eyes, right? You get you, The whole point is to gain knowledge. If I could just download the knowledge from a USB and put it in my brain, I would do that instead of reading. I'm not doing it for the act, I'm doing it for the end outcome. So if you don't want to listen to audiobooks because it's not reading. You're missing out on a lot of knowledge and you're kind of shortchanging yourself. Anyway, let's get back into it. Let's start with the physical books. Okay, let's say you got a book like this, right? A book like this. And um, you say you want to read 100 books per year. So that's two books per week. Let's split up. Let's go say you're going to read one physical book and one audiobook. Um, this book here is about 250 pages. What you want to do is you want to find out how many pages are in the book and then break it down so that you can read the equal percentage each day of the week until you finish it. So this is 250 pages. Let's assume we're just going to read five days during the week. We're going to take the weekend off. We're going to read Monday to Friday. So we have to read 50 pages per day in order to finish this particular book. And what I always advise for people to do is when you're starting off reading, when you're starting out, you don't want to sit down and try and power through the reading because what's going to happen is you're going to get sleepy. Your brain's not used to working. It's not used to focusing. So you won't be able to finish it. You don't have the skill set or the capacity to do it yet. And you're going to now associate resistance and that negative feeling of trying to push through the book with reading. And it's going to be terrible for making reading a habit. You want to associate good things with reading. So you want to have a good time when you read. You don't want to make it feel like a chore. So don't try power through it until you're able to actually do it. So break it down. 50 pages a day, how are you gonna split that? You can split that into 25 pages, two times a day. So maybe you read 25 pages when you wake up and 25 pages um, right before bed. Or you can split it into 10 pages, five times a day. So maybe 10 pages here, 10 pages after your lunch break at work, 10 pages when you get home, 10 pages after gym and whatever, right? As long as you fulfill your daily quota and finish the 50 pages or however many pages you need, you will smash through that book um, very easily. Now, a lot of people talk about speed reading. Um, speed reading is definitely something that could help, especially if you are someone who's going to read bigger books, books that are like 600 pages. You can learn how to speed read. Now, there's a bunch of online resources that can teach you how to do this. So if that's something you want to look into, I'll put some links in the description to those resources. Personally, myself, I've never had to really learn how to speed read. When you are reading in general, you kind of learn how to read quicker or more efficiently anyway. So it's not necessary, but something you could look in. And a lot of people also like to do this thing, like the whole Ty Lopez thing of um, skipping sentence sections of the book. So they might read like the first sentence of the first paragraph, skim through their eyes, just kind of skim through real quick and they read certain bits that are important. Um, I don't like that method. Um, I feel like that's kind of cheating, but it is useful in certain areas. Some people will say they read the books do not just skim in whole pages, but I don't really count that. It's useful in certain areas. Let's say you've read about eight books on um, the subconscious mind, right? And now you're reading the ninth book 
and a particular chapter that you're reading kind of is going over the same stuff you've read before, then you can skim through and that will be effective as you'll be able to get to the juicier bits. Because what you have to remember is um, in a lot of these books, there's certain ideas or certain concepts are the main idea, the main points. You have to think of it as kind of like an 80-20 type deal. 20% of the book's actually going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. 80% of it is going to be filler because the author needs to sell the book. They can't just sell you 50 pages of the distilled essence of the book. They have to make it seem like it's worthwhile, worth your money. So they're going to put a bunch of bull crap in there. So definitely you can skim through certain things, but be very careful with that because you might skip that golden nugget. So that's how I approach um, physical books. I break it down to pages and yeah, just hammer through them. And I do the same thing with um, you know, my iPad on the iBooks and my phone, um, the EPUB books. You could just read throughout the day when you have a little bit of extra time. Maybe you're waiting for the bus and you're just standing there. Just whip out your phone and read. Maybe you're in the toilet, taking a shit. You, you know, you're going to be on your phone anyway. Just read five pages or so. What you see is that it all adds up. And that's how you create the habit of reading. Just reading here and there. And eventually you'll be able to actually enjoy it and be looking forward to it. So that's how you can easily smash through one of those books per week. The second thing, the second strategy I have for you guys is to use audiobooks. I really, really am a big proponent of audiobooks. This is going to cut um, out so much time. Because throughout the week, you're going to be doing a bunch of random mundane activities. I always talk about this. You're going to be mowing the grass. You're going to be mo um, vacuuming your house, putting the clothes up, washing dishes. Random things where you kind of have to do it. And usually you'll be doing nothing but just you know thinking. Get the headphones in and listen to Audiobooks. Now, I personally use a um, particular service. I use Audible, which is, I think, the most complete audiobook um, service. It's got the most audiobooks there on this platform. And as you see, I'm currently reading, thinking fast and slow. And I've got a bunch of titles on this. So if you want to try that out, I'll put an affiliate link down in the bottom. It's going to be a 30 day free trial. And you can do whatever the fuck you want with that. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to buy these audiobooks. There's a bunch of free audiobooks on YouTube. And there's also another app I use, which is, um, it's called a, what's it called? It's called some shit. It's a music speed changer, and it kind of speeds up the audio of certain things I have. Audible does this automatically. You can change the speed of the audiobook. So instead of just reading at normal speed, you could read it 1.5, two times speed. And doing that, you're going to really smash through these books. I'm telling you, if you're reading two times speed, even these 10 hour audiobooks, you split that down to five hours and you can just split that one hour each day throughout the week just doing random shit and you can smash that easily. And a 10 hour audiobook is relatively big. It's about like 400 pages, 300 some pages. So um, that's a big pro tip I have for people. Use the speed um, enhancer features on these apps, the Audible and the app. I'm going to link it down in the description. What I like to do is I like to either use one or two approaches, I kind of increase the speed gradually and as I get used to it and um, increase it again, so one time speed, 1.25, 1.5, 1.752, or I like to also sometimes go extreme, just go straight to three times speed for like the first minute and then bring it down to two times speed so that my brain actually thinks it's slower and two times speed sounds more normal. That's the crazy thing about the speed enhancing um, util utility is your brain adjusts to the new speed because what you have to understand is in the english language there's a bunch of words that are once again just feel like just connecting things your brain is just kind of picking up the main idea the main gist of certain sentences and you're still able to make out what other people are saying so that's the same thing with these um audio books when you speed it up you can still understand what's going on okay let's talk about the second part of this video how can you better understand what you are reading you're reading your physical books you're smashing through your audio books and you're getting through two books per week on your way to get 100 books per year. So how can you better understand this? Are you, are you not rushing it? How can you understand the concepts? Well, what I advise is when you're reading these books, make a note or try to make a habit to kind of take notes on important things or things that you think are important. So have your notepad on your phone and take notes on certain elements of the book or certain ideas that you like and have the title of the book right at the top. So I like to do it on one note on my iPad. Whenever I'm reading something, I just take notes on certain bits and just keep it all into like this nice document where I have a bunch of book titles. And I also like going to review sites like Goodreads and reading what other people have to say about the book because they also have their own input, their own summaries, their own opinions. 
I like watching book summaries after the book. After I read the book, I like going on YouTube and checking out the book summary, which is usually like 10 minute, five minute, distilled, concise summary about what the book is about. And I also like talking about the book to friends and kind of explaining what I thought was interesting. When you do these things, you're now taking, going from a passive role to an active role in your learning and you're kind of cementing the things that you learned from the book in your mind and it's going to be much easier to stick. A lot of people just read books and just forget about them. Make a mental note to try to get the jewels out of it and distill them and keep your own personal documents which you can, you, which you can refer back to when you need to and that's definitely going to help. So those are my tips guys. Take it or leave it. Um, I've been using this for the past year or two and it's definitely made a huge difference. Reading books is so easy. Sometimes I go three books, four books a week. Two is manageable. Two anyone can do and you can easily smash through 100 books and change your life for the better drastically with all that new knowledge. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.